Still looking for some sales in the lucrative Cold War 1980s market. Uh, Vickers put together their design for the Vickers Mark IV Valiant because it starts with a V. Uh, they used an aluminium hull with chobham armour to keep the weight down back when they thought that making armour out of aluminium was a good idea. And remember that, you know, they had the same problem with CVRT. Uh, well, the British in general had the same problem with CVRT, which they said, oh, we'll, we'll make an aluminium hull, it'll be great. And then they realised aluminium bends and flexes so much that by the time they'd put in enough extra metal um, to, to stabilise it, it weighed as much as if they just started with steel in the first place, but didn't have the protection values of steel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you think they could buy it on the cheapest it fell off the back of a truck. Boom, boom. Boom. Ah, <laughs> we're referring to the Valiant that fell off a truck. Yes, it's on the screen now. Ah, perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> But instead, it but for those who are on the audio feed, which is most of our listeners, um, totallytank.net, we will have all the pictures um, up for you to see tomorrow. Right. So, yeah. uh, but instead, it did a sales cruise of the Middle East in 1983, along with its frenemies, the AMX 40 and the Challenger 1, to see who could pick up the richest oil shake. Uh, it had um, so seriously, they put it on board a 